come to Papa. Mm, mm, brown silk chocolate. Yeah. And on an empty stomach, no less. You have a problem with my breakfast? Honey, you keep this up, you're going to be overweight and toothless. How can you eat all this sugar first thing in the Sweetheart, morning? it's not all that much sugar. It's one candy bar. You know, there's people out there paying good money for herbal supplements that get exactly this kind of endorphin rush. As far as I'm concerned, my alternative is cheap, effective, and tasty. You're going to be taking an alternative nap in about an hour. Mm. Food dance. God. <laughs> I know exactly how we're going to fill that hour, too. Don't you even start with that with me. The boys are on holiday break, you remember? Yes, but Jamie's gone to, with Brooke to see the ice show. On junior tour, I about half an hour ago. Somebody about the Lansbury's dog having... having puppies. Puppies? Yeah. Hey, Mom, Dad, can we keep her? Oh, no. Mr. Lansbury said it was okay if it was okay with you guys. No, wait, no, wait a minute there, St. Francis. I thought you and your brother wanted a, 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 a ferret. Right. Nah, she's way cooler. Wait till Jamie sees her. Isn't she cute? Come here, bring her here. Come over here, Mom. Oh, she's adorable. Honey. <laughs> she's a girl puppy. Perfect, right? Now you guys can have someone little to look after. Am I in trouble? No. Of course not, sweetie. Um, it just comes as uh, kind of a big surprise. Uh, Tad and I should talk it over, okay? So why don't you go out in the back and play with her, okay? Okay. We'll come find you. She meant well, honey. Oh, I know, I know. Well, we wouldn't be the first couple to adopt a puppy. I couldn't have a baby. She did kind of have your eyes. I know. I'm fine, honestly. I have so much to be thankful for. I'd rather just concentrate on that, you know? You make me very happy. You know that, right? As far as I'm concerned, any puppy that wins your heart is just fine with me. As a matter of fact, I think it's a great idea. Come to think of it, a boy Darn. needs a dog. Let me to go out. <laughs> I drove you into the house. Puppy poop. Yes. I've no, it's not that puppy. much of a big house. You'll never even know. I know, I know. But listen, you better hope that this, this isn't Mr. Landsberg because, you know, I'll take her right now. I'll go just like this. Hey, hi. Too early? Hi, Ray. Hi. What do you mean, hi. too early? Do, do we have something planned for this morning? No. Come on in. No, no, we're just we don't being crazy bums. But you said, you know, we wanted to bat some ideas around about the show, and uh, I'm interrupting, aren't I? I do smell hazelnut coffee, though. I'll put on another pot. Oh, don't go to any trouble, Dixie. <laughs> you are a darling. Hey. Are you avoiding me? I mean avoiding you. I practically see you every day. You asked me to come up with some ideas for the show, didn't you? I did research. I even did some preliminary interviews. I sent you a memo on it a couple of days ago. You haven't gotten back to me. Why? The black market babies. Yes, that. Come on. But don't get you me wrong. You should be running honey, with it. Honey, please. Okay, look. I, I, I appreciate all the work you put into it. The, the, the initial stuff was great. You don't want to do this? Why? I... I just think the timing's wrong. You gotta understand this is a new show, all right? And a story about a black market baby ring, while very powerful, is... I'm just afraid it's a little dark. I so disagree with you. Do you know how many women all over the world have babies stolen and then sold? Don't you think people need to know when they go to adopt a baby that it might be an illegal child? I'm not saying I'm not going to do it. I'm just saying that I'll do it later in the season. When? Okay. When I'm gone? I mean, this is hard-hitting stuff, Dad. Think of the families. Think of the, the women. I who understand. I know babies. about the emotional importance, okay? That's one of the reasons I don't want to do it. It's a little close to home. Dixie lost a baby three months ago. I know. I know. She told me that. I'm sorry. I'm, I guess I'm being a little insensitive. Okay. No, you're not. I think it's a great idea. I agree with Ray. It's an important story. It needs to be told. You should tell it. This could be a, a very emotional piece. 
Yeah, I mean, I hope so. It should be, right? Right. Exposing people who sell babies, preventing women from being exploited, that sounds really important. I would like to be a part of that. Are you sure? Yeah. I can do it, Tad. Come on, please let me. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs>